Hello? He offered what? You gotta be kidding me. Just a second. Hey, I'll tell you what you can tell him. Tell him to go screw himself. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Burroughs, our heat's out again. Call the management office. I have. For the past two weeks. Yeah, I'm back. It's not a fixer-upper. It's historic. All right, just a second. I got a little problem here. Hold on. OK, I'm back. Why can't you just give me a damn offer on this building? OK. I'm putting in some lights, you know, like you said, make it look less creepy at night. Yeah. OK, bye. She at it again. Elsa Crothers, I've told you how many times. When she goes loca, crank up your tunes. Because that's what I do. Thank you. But the last thing I need is advice from a pervert like you. Ooh, you hate me because I'm beautiful. In my day, weirdos like you were locked up. Oh, and when was that? The uh, Spanish Inquisition? You show some respect, you freak! Music is? Leave me alone. Leave me 
you along. Listen to me, Missy. You better start packing because I'm going to see to it that you are out on the street. You are rude. You're inconsiderate. Why can't you be like your sister? Just look at you. <gasps> oh. Actually, identical twins. Technically, yes, but I don't think you'd have any trouble telling us apart. Oh, I'd love to have had a twin. Scam the teachers, that whole bit. What about you? You ever, you ever like try to fool your parents or anything? Uh, you know, I don't remember. They died when I was really young. Cool. I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm asking too many questions. No, it's okay. Most guys just want to talk about themselves. Next time I get to ask all the questions, okay? <laughs> Fair enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Brian, you coming? I'll catch up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, what's up, Sarah? Huh? You want to come back to my place? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Just give me a sec while I get a lobotomy. Hey, come on, Sarah. We used to have a lot of fun together. That was one night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, if you remember correctly, it was two. You came back for seconds. Hey, Brian, you better hurry up. The bar's closed in an hour. Come on. <laughs> Get with me. Come on. What, suddenly you're a fucking virgin now, huh? Yeah, huh? maybe. Yeah. Come, here, come here. Get off. Get off. Oh! Okay, but then you can forget about borrowing my earrings. Come in, Hector. I thought you were Brian. So, 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 so. Okay, okay, okay. So. <laughs> Guess who was crowned a strike strip tonight? You. No, some hoe who needed a lip wax. But I was crowned Miss Runner Up. That's great. You know, you could pretend to be a little bit more excited for me. Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? Mrs. Crothers, apparently she and Tess got into it tonight and she's threatening eviction again. Oh, that old bag can't evict you. Only the landlord can. And you know, he's dead. Temporary reprieve. Somebody is gonna buy this place. Oh, this dump? I seriously doubt it. So. Where is your psycho twin tonight? Is she out sucking the blood from a chicken's neck? Shut up, Hector. <laughs> Chiquita loca! Cut it out, Hector. Chiquita! Tess? Yeah. <sighs> 
Ay, Dios mío. She's hurt herself again. I have to find her. I'll call the police. No, if you call the police, they'll commit her again. Sarah, please stay calm, okay? Every time she does this, you make yourself all crazy, and she walks in like nothing's happened. Hector, she's my sister. Fine. I'm coming with you. No, just stay here in case she comes back. But, but... say it was? Yes, you have it on my truck. I'm going to take it to my house, all no, right? No, you're not. Put it in storage, because it'll you know, end up in my house. Know, I'm not putting that in my house. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I was wondering, do you know who manages this building? Actually, I do. Hi, Amanda Winters. This is my father, Gus. Hi, Don. My name's Bill Shepard, but my friends call me Shep. Um, any vacancies? No, not right now, but there will be soon. So why don't you leave me your number? And I can call you when I have something available. That would be great. Um, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I would be willing to pay a premium. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh-huh. Dude, she is fine. She's mine. I'd like you to have a chance. Right. Who scored last night while you went home alone? Because I think I think that was me. Right? Dude, I saw your score, okay? 50 pounds lighter and she can box middleweight. Bring on the fatties. Mm. Get up. Hey, let me help you with that. No, it's okay. I have it. <laughs> Come on. 
This is, uh, this is heavy. Yeah, and I might break a nail. Especially on a hand as beautiful as this one. You don't want to do that. Mm. Take your hands off my daughter. I'm, I'm sorry, I was just uh, trying to help. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Reed Matthews. I know, you're in apartment seven. Sorry, have we met? No, I just bought the building. And if you don't want an eviction notice, you'll stay the hell away from my daughter. Daddy. What? Now, I know these kind of guys. <laughs> Why are you two fools still standing here? See, now those are gonna be the first tenants we get rid of. We have other business to deal with. Like the old lady, living in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom for 300 a month. Damn rent control. No, don't worry, you know the new laws. Once we get rid of them, we can charge whatever we want. And I know how to get rid of them. Yes, you do, honey. Yes, I do. That's why I bought you this. You bought me? Yeah. There. Oh, Daddy. See, not only are you a wonderful partner, but you're a wonderful daughter. Here you go. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, you're this you're work? the best. Now help me get this thing. Okay. It's great. You better plant some new grass. I beg your pardon? Well, uh, look at these ball patches. Uh, you're not watering it enough. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm not the gardener. Well, who are you? The new owner. <sighs> you're kidding. Well, I guess if you live long enough, you've seen everything. <laughs> I'm late for church, but I want to talk to you about some of these tenants, and soon. Who the hell was that? Two bedroom, two bathroom for 300 a month. <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> oh, what happened? Have you been out all night? No, Miss Crothers. Then I assume you got my note. Yes. Can we talk about this some other time? I hate to make threats because you're such a dear, but something has to be done about your sister. I'll talk to her. It's too late for that. You can't expect me to pick up everything and move. I'm late for church. I'll pray for you and Tessie. Thank you. stay here in case Tessie came back. <sighs> Sweetie, I stayed until 4 a.m., but this girl needs your beauty sleep. Wait, I think I hear her. Fine, I'll be right over. Okay. Tess, you okay? What do you want? I was up all night looking for you. She's back. Ah, fabulous. I'm going back to bed. I mean, don't go. Stay a minute, please. <sighs> you hurt yourself again, didn't you? Cut myself working. It's no big deal. Hector and I were worried sick about you. That freak was worried about me. As he looked in the mirror. Who are you calling freak, bitch? Shh, you don't even know him. And I don't want to. Sarah, I gotta go. No, don't leave. <sighs> Look, baby, I am so sick of her games, okay? She is playing you. She needs my help. Sarah, you help everybody. When are you gonna start helping yourself? I'll call you later.
when you're with your girl, gotta do to get some sleep around here. Everybody was home, so I used the master key. Well, you see, my daughter is moving in downstairs, and we noticed the leak, and I thought it might be coming from up here. Oh, I, oh I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. No, no. Um, my name is Gus. Are you through here? Oh, yeah. You, uh, <laughs> you have a nice day, Uh, do you have any idea what's going on in this building under your very nose? No. Well, I've only lived here a few hours, so why don't you enlighten me? Well, oh, for starters, that brown fellow upstairs, I mean, he dresses up like a harlot nearly every weekend. Wait, does the brown fellow have a name? I don't know. Uh, Julio or Jesus. Hector. It's Hector. And, and something's got to be done about those boys in number seven. I mean, they are drunk and disorderly every night. And and then there's Jessie Swinton. She's, she's, I'm sorry, I'm not a well woman. I can't take much more of this. I'll look into it, OK? Oh, thank you. Oh, but I have to remind you, there are no pets allowed in this building. And I believe you have two dogs. I've had my babies for years. Nobody's ever had a problem with yeah, them. Yeah, well, now I do. There's a no pets provision in your lease. So I'm giving you till the end of the month to find a home for them. You listen here, Missy. You've got some nerve. I mean, you people get a few bucks okay, in your that's pockets, enough. and you think you that's can just ride enough. railroad over anybody? You've really got some, some nerve. Sneak up on me like that. Sorry about last night. It's all starting again, isn't it? I'll be good, I promise. Let's forget about last night. Why don't we run a movie? You can pick it. I can't. Ian's picking me up in a few minutes. You saw him last night. We're just going to dinner. We'll only be gone a couple of hours. He just wants to sleep with you. That's all any guy wants. Stop it. We've only been out one time. So, you used to screw a guy in the first hour. Well, I'm not as stupid as I used to be. Yes, you are. Oh, God, please, please don't go, please. I'll tell Ian you're sick. Please, just... At least let me come with you. I can't. All right. All right, I get it. 
You don't want a freak like me scaring off your new boyfriend. I think spam might be the greatest thing on this whole damn planet. I, mean, I can't think of anything I'd rather eat. <coughs> Pishka. I'd rather eat Pishka. Pishka? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Pishka is the Russian word for pussy. <laughs> Thanks for dinner. Yeah. Um, can I come up? I don't think tonight's a good night. Uh, Tess is home. But I'd like to meet your sister. Sure, just, I have to handle things delicately. Tess can be, Jealous. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you really look after Tessie, don't you? I'm the only family she's got. Uh, I must get a bit lonely for you. Um, look. My father's an alcoholic. And I know what it's like to take care of a needy relative. Mm -mm, it's not like that. Well, whatever it is, it's a lot easier if you let people help you. Sorry, Carl. It's none of my business. It's okay. I really had fun tonight. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'll call you. You better. Oh. first beer. <laughs> Jimmy, see who the fuck that is. Has definitely not Pishka. Will you degenerates please turn your music down? What is it with you, huh? You're constantly on my ass. If I wanted to live with a nagging old woman, I would have moved back home. Hey, Brian, don't be such a prick. Is such language really necessary? He just turned on the music. It's almost 11 o'clock. Whatever. Oh, dude, dude! You are a pishka! You're welcome. Don't you worry, my darlings. If that colored girl thinks she can make me get rid of my baby, she's got another thing coming. you done <laughs> oh my oh god oh 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 oh
wants to get a hold of yourself. What are you doing here? Oh my god, what happened? Oye, oh, yeah. it is your lucky day. Elsa Crothers finally kicked it. Heart attack. It's a shame. You obviously never met that old bag. I don't think we've met. I'm Amanda Winters, the new landlord. Oh, I'm Sarah, this is Hector. Hi. Hey. I'm having a party Thursday night for the tenants. I'd love for you to come, like 8 o'clock. Sure. Sarah, bring your sister, OK? Yeah. Excuse me. She seems nice. I love this jacket. Can I borrow it? I'm meeting a client. Hmm. You mean some other old lazy ass woman who's too fat to get herself over to the cosmetics counter? When are you gonna get a real job? When are you? You know, you should like finish college or something. You know, become a doctor or a lawyer. Get the hell out of this building. Who's gonna take care of Tess? Tessie is your sister. She's not your daughter. I'm late. almost twice as much as last time. Cost of living, bro. But I don't even have that much cash. Wait, I'll pay you next week. What do I look like to you, huh? A fucking bank? You already owe me 500. I'm good for it, Brian. Look, you want a piece of the rock? Hmm? It's 250 plus the five bennies you already owe me. Brian, please. Brian, don't leave. Brian! to make me drill and catatonic. Nothing else was working. Nothing ever works. Thank God I was able to find you. 
from here. Everything's gonna be all right now. No, no. Well, as luck would have it, I have a vacancy. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, second floor, twelve fifty a month. Are you interested? I'll take it. Great, so come by tomorrow to sign the lease. Uh, uh yeah. To welcome Dr. Bill Shepard. He moved into the building this week. Hi, welcome. Okay, let me put all of your minds at ease. I am not going to raise the rent this year. However, I do plan on enforcing your current leases. In other words, no pets, no excessive noise, no rooftop parties. Whoa. Okay, that's it. So have a drink and enjoy. Sweetheart. Yes? Baby, why do you even bother with these people? Because you catch more flies with honey. Mm. Nut. Dude, it'll be in her pants by the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a little crowded because I'll already be there. Oh, is there anybody in this building you haven't banged yet? Her. Oh, yeah. You should definitely tap that. You get even with Sarah for dumping your ass. She didn't dump me, dickwad. Shepard from Deerwood. I don't know a Dr. Shepard. I think you do. So you guys think that I really couldn't nail Tessie Swinton if I wanted to? Hmm? I got a hundred bucks says you can. Shit, I'd do it for 50. Jimmy, you'd have to pay your hand 50 just to touch your dick. Fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. Dude, she's hot for you. Excuse me. Now watch and learn. Hey, Tess. Haven't seen you in a while. What you been up to? Looking for Sarah. She's on a date. Um, actually, I was looking for you. I thought maybe we could hang out sometime. Really? Just because my sister spread him for you doesn't mean that I will. Just calm down, okay? Don't get all crazy. Don't call me crazy. Jeez, relax. Not crazy. Leave her alone. No, you leave me alone. Are you hurt a dude? Back off. Come on, Tess, let's get out of here. Leave her alone. <laughs> hey! Well, put her back off, don't you understand, huh? Oh, hey, fuck her. Tess ain't a bar! You stay out of my way. You need to get the hell out of here. Now. No, I don't. Brian, please! I'm freaking, Brian! Just give me a couple days to get the money together!
used to this, huh? You don't want this? Yeah. I I'm sorry, what'd you say? What'd you say, Doc? You stay away from me. Are you talking to me? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you stay out of my way. You stay out of my way. What? What, you want a piece of me? Huh? Huh? You want a piece of me? here, it's important. He's in his room. Mr. Brian, you have a visitor? I think it's that chick you banged last week. <laughs> Go ahead, Fruit Loop. Brian? 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 <laughs> you meal, you meal! What the hell happened? It looks like an overdose. But uh, we'll know for sure once we do the autopsy. Overdose? All right, you know, no way. No way. I found this in the bathroom. See how it's got fresh blood right there on the syringe? Here's my card. I will be in touch. Look, there's no way he owed it, all right? I mean, Brian can handle his shit. Right. And I have a wife and two kids. All right, you know what? Listen, Disco Queen. If I find out you had anything to do with this, I'm going right to the cops. You hear me? You're going to be real popular in prison. Dude, get your hands off me, man. Who's gonna call his parents? Yeah, his parents. Oh! Oh! Careful! You need help? Ah, uh, no, I got it. I broke a mirror while unpacking. Oh, seven years. I know. Not what I need right now. Hi. You must be Sarah. Have we met? No. But it's nice to meet you now. Tessie never mentioned you. How do you know my sister? Oh, I was an attending physician at Deerwood. My name is Shep. Well, I'd really like to talk, but unfortunately, I have to go to a funeral. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I heard about Brian. Is Tess going? No, she hasn't been to a funeral since our parents died. How is she doing? She's fine. She's great, really. Uh, Sarah, would you tell Tessie that I'd like to talk to her sometime? You know, just to make sure that everything's all right. Consider it a professional follow-up. I told you, she's fine. I'm not so sure. Well, I think I know my sister better than you, so. Sarah, you're not going to prevent me from talking to Tessie, are you? Doctor, she doesn't need any more reminders of that hellhole. Leave her alone. Excuse me. Hi, Amanda. Um, Reed. Oh, right. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, wow, you you look great. <laughs> look, I'm, I'm late for a meeting. Is there something I can do for you? We lost the keys to the basement storage space. Oh. We need to pack up Brian's things. Oh, sure. I can get you a key. You know, I'm really sorry about Brian. I mean, first Mrs. Crothers, then Brian. This building is cursed. Yeah, the funeral's this morning. Mm. Oh, you know, I was wondering, since Brian's gone, are you, are you guys going to stay in the apartment? 
hadn't really thought about it. You know, it could be weird. So if you want to move, I completely understand. Thanks, Amanda. Mm -hmm. But moving is not going to make me forget about them. I think this building will be a lot better now that you're running things. You, know, you seem pretty cool. You know, maybe we could even hang out sometime or do something. Bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious unto him. And give him peace. Amen. I'll see you back at the building. Okay. Excuse me. How you doing here? Sorry to bug you guys at such a grave hour. I need to talk to you and Jimmy. Jimmy! What's up? I just got the autopsy report back. And based on the angle and the location of the injection, there's just no way that Brian could have overdosed himself. What, what, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say it looks like maybe somebody murdered. Do you have any idea who might want to do this to you, Fred? I don't know. Do you? I mean, you're the detective, right? What, are you funny? Why, are, you, are you questioning us now? I mean, what, what are you trying to do? Do we have to do this here? This is his funeral. This case is now a homicide. I'll be in touch with both of you. open. don't understand is that this Brian bloke's a complete arse, and yet you go to his funeral anyway. He might be an arse, but he's also been my neighbor for the last four years. Uh, the old mystery. That's why you like me. So, um, you're going to invite me in? thinking about it. post-funeral behavior for you. Are you complaining? <laughs> Hold on. Are you <laughs> joking? Tess, you here?
We're alone. some things to the imagination. Let's just get this over with her. It's going to be okay. I can't believe the cops think somebody killed him. It's so fucked up. I mean, who the hell would kill Brian? I haven't ruled out Hector. What the hell is our storage room? It's like a freaking maze down here. I think it's over here. There's a reason why I don't come down here. You know, this place is nice and creepy. Find Brian's stuff and get out of here. Oh, there's Brian's trunk. Oh, fuck! What the hell is all this shit? Paint thinner. Smooth move. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> okay. Great. Oh, the fuse must have blown. I'm gonna find the box or something. You just try not to destroy anything else, all right? Yeah, hurry up, man. This paint thinner stinks. <clears throat> Foos box, schmooze box. This box. <laughs> uh. ah! People have some weird shit. Reader, what the hell, man? How long does it take to find a fuse box? This paint thinner stinks. <laughs> Yo, Reed, what the fuck you doing, man? Hey. Hey, this stuff's flammable, man. What the fuck? Jesus, no! Fuck! Oh! Yo, Jimmy. You're not gonna believe what I found down here. You guys, you there? Open up! Jimmy! 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 Just hold, hold on, all right? I, I'm gonna get help. Who are you? Did you do this?
think we're gonna have another vacancy soon. I don't know. I, I guess I do my job well. <laughs> Daddy, I gotta go. Someone's at the door. Okay, love you. Bye. Amanda Winters? Yes, can I help you? I'm Detective Fred Lewis. I'm investigating the death of Brian Davis. Oh, that was such a tragedy. Yeah. Especially if he was murdered. You mind if I come in? I guess that's a yes. Uh, where were you the night that he died? I was here. I had a small party for my tenants. You recognize that? What? Yes. I've been looking for that. Where did you find that? It was in the bedroom of the deceased. What? How do you think your uh, necklace ended up in his bedroom that night? I don't know. Maybe he stole it. You know, I had half the building in this apartment that night. Anyone could have taken it. Do you mind if I look around? Yes, I do, actually. I'm busy. Well, I can go get a warrant and be back in about two hours. Fine, Lieutenant. Look all you want. Thank you. Daddy, answer the phone. Gotcha. Miss Winters, do you mind explaining why you have a vial of heart medication for Elsa Crothers? Damn it. dinner and a movie. Oh. Well, eating dinner. And um, here's the movie. <laughs> wow. You really know how to spoil a girl. <laughs> yeah. I really know how to spoil a girl. <laughs> Cut it out. What? Don't you like it? Oh, yeah. Of course I do. I just think I'd like what's underneath just a little better. <laughs> Cut it out. Sarah. <laughs> I mean, don't you think this is getting a little old? Are you complaining? I don't know. Maybe. And get the hell out of my bed. Why won't you let me get closer to you? Get out. Sarah, come on. Come get on. Get out! I said get out! This evening is over! Fine. Fine.
Are you okay? I had a fight with Ian. Where is he? Gone. Your scars, I wear them for you. Just be glad I don't cut my face. <laughs> Why are you doing this to us? I don't do this to us. I do it for us. What do you mean? If I didn't cut myself, I'd kill myself. And therefore, dear sister, I'd kill you. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Then why are you crying? Um... I'm fine. Well, I'm a professional listener. If you'd like to talk. Uh... No thanks, I just... Actually, maybe I could use someone to talk to. Great. I was just going to make some tea. Oh. I'll get you a cup. Thank you. <laughs> Where's Tessie? In her room. Why don't you ask her to come and join us? Because I want to talk to you first. Thank you. You're welcome. I'd like you to stay away from Tess. Sarah, I know you love your sister, and you want what's best for her. So do I. How do you know what's best for my sister, Doctor? Well, we spent a lot of time together at Deerwood, and we were making progress. But then she left before we could complete the treatment regimen. Treatment regimen? It's an interesting euphemism. Why is it so hot in here? Doctor, that must be the drug taking effect. Oh. What are you talking about, Sarah? I'm Tess. You told Sarah you want to talk to me, so here I am. But we only have a few minutes before the saxitoxin in your tea takes full effect. Saxitoxin. <laughs> it's really quite a remarkable drug. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It paralyzes your nervous system, yet leaves you completely conscious. Why are you doing this? <sighs> I'm just returning the favor. It's the least I could do after all the experimental drugs you pumped into me. Tess, you need help. <laughs> Actually, I think you're the one that needs the help right now. Oh, so. 
Why don't you tell me what you're doing here? I don't know what you mean. I think you do. I moved halfway across the country and yet somehow you end up living across the hall? When you escaped, they fired me. Oh. So you thought if you found me and you fixed me, you'd get your job back. I want to help you. Really? Or do you just want to play some more of those extracurricular games we played when I was too drugged to even know my name? Where's Sarah? Sarah's gone. I decide when Sarah comes and when she goes. Sarah? Sarah? Everybody always wants Sarah. So please, just look. let me in. See what I mean? Don't move. So it's me, Ian. I'm, well, I'm sorry about tonight. Sarah, they want. Sarah, they'll get. I said what I did. I'm, I just, um, I just, um, I didn't want to, you know, ruin things with you. I feel like you are the most genuine girl that I've ever met. Exactly what a bloke likes to hear right about now. <laughs> I should lie down. Oh, well, okay. Right. I could join you. No, really, my head is pounding. I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. Martha Stewart sort of thing. What am I gonna do with you, Dr. Shepard? Can't really have you follow me around the country like some lost puppy, can I? Deserve it. Sarah. 
Sarah. Hi, Amanda. I need to talk to you. What is it? Someone's setting me up. They're making it seem like I had something to do with the deaths in this building. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously? Honestly, no. What about your sister? Do you think she's behind this? How dare you accuse Tess? You got a lot of nerve accusing my sister. I'm being accused, and I didn't do it. I hear the laughs. I hear the whispers. I see how people look at me. You. <sighs> I mean, Tess. I'm sorry I'm so upset, but people can be really cruel to her. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go to bed. No, Sarah, wait a second. I just wanna ask no. you a question. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, great. God. Shut, open the door, it's Amanda. Shut! Oh, if you went out and left that water running, I will kill him. You really shouldn't be making those kind of threats, Miss Winters. Look, I've had enough harassment for one day. Well, too bad, because I'm about ready to read you your rights. Listen, I will tell you everything I know. If you could just help me get into this tenant's apartment, I think he's in trouble. Police, open up! Open the door! Stand back. This water is shorted out all the wiring. You can't see a damn thing. I'll get a flashlight. Hey, don't go too far this time. And no, I'm not insane. <laughs> Amanda, I really can't thank you enough. I mean, I couldn't have done this without you. Carlos was gonna have me evicted. And then Brian, Brian fucked Sarah when I wasn't watching and thought that he could keep coming back for seconds. Oh, and I also got rid of Reed and Jimmy. So it would look like you were clearing out their apartment and their shop. But that's a really long story, and I just don't have time. Wait, oh yeah. Wait. I didn't know you were having a party in here. No. Sarah? No, Hector! It's not Sarah, it's Tess! Sarah. Of course I'm Sarah! No. She's framing me! No! Are you sure? She killed everybody! She killed Sarah. Heather! No, she's lying! I walked in on no. the latest not the street! Hector! 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 Call the police! Hector, call she's the crazy! Police. I am not crazy! Yes, you are, Sarah! You're crazy! You're Shut insane! Up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Sarah, what's going on? We gotta catch her. Go, go!
Why is Amanda doing this? She's killing all the rent control tenants. But, but Chef, he just moved in in that car. They figured it out. She has to get rid of them. Let's go. the knife. How did you... Right drug, wrong dosage. You bastard. If you put down the knife, I promise I won't hurt you. Don't make promises you can't keep! Where's Sarah? Sarah's gone. No, she's not. She's the one who protects you. She'll know what to do. Drop the knife. Amanda. Hector. Hey. Hi. You were the last person I expected to see here. Oh, I had to come. How are you? I miss Sarah. She was my best friend. How about you? Well, I'm selling the building, getting out of real estate. Um, you know, see where I go. You know, I never did get a chance to thank you for saving my life. Thank you.
Sal? Sal! Oh, God, I'm sorry. I just... I just... I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Beth. I'm Teddy's sister. They, they can't. You... Tessie's sister doesn't exist. I mean, Tessie's sister died when tested. Did you know her? I, th I thought I did. We haven't talked in about ten years. She cut off all contact. I just really had a twin sister. We were really close. Until my parents died, and then she just... Lost it. I just wish I'd known how bad it had gotten. Do you think I could get your number? I'd love to get to know more about my sister. Yeah, please. Um, I'd like to know more about her too. I'll call you soon, okay? He seems nice. Why? Because he's got a stupid British accent? Why are you so mean? Somebody's gotta be. We can't all go through life like Girl Scouts. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> 